In this video, we have the first of the recurrent relations questions. I think there's a misprint in the book. This should read Tn, not T2. So we're given T1 in all of these cases, or term 1. So that's when n is 0. So what about T2? T2 is when n is equal to 1, as you can see. T2 is equal to twice. When n is 1, twice T1, which is equal to 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. If n is equal to 2, we're going to get term 3, T3, because there's going to be a 2 plus 1. Term 3 will be the twice Tn, and n is 2, so twice T2, so twice 2, which is equal to 4. I'm going to have to write down the first five terms. If n is equal to 3, we're going to get term 4 you can see it's just going to be twice 4 which is equal to 8 and you should see now the sequence 1 2 4 8 it's going to be 16 they're doubling each time let's have a look at our differences 1 2 4 8 then our difference second difference is going to be 1 2 4 so here we have the first term a is equal to 1 and my ratio is equal to 2. We're multiplying by 2 each time, so we have a geometric sequence here in question 1. In question 2, they use u instead of t. We're given u1 is equal to 11. So u2, not the band, the recurrent sequence, is when n is equal to 1. So n is equal to 1 here and here. So u2 is equal to u1 plus 3. 11 plus 3 is equal to 14. When n is equal to 2, we get term 3, or u3, it's going to be u2, putting 2 in for n plus 3, which is 14 plus 3, which is 17. So you can see what's happening here, we're just adding 3 on each time. So we have 11, 14, 17, 20, and 23. This is a linear or an arithmetic sequence for question two. Question three looks a bit more complicated, but it's just because we have square roots here. So when n is equal to one, we're going to get u2. u2 is equal to n is equal to one. It's going to be u1 times the square root of u1 minus u1. I'll put it in a bracket to be squared. So this is going to be 0.1 times the square root of 0.1 minus 0.1 squared. Just type this into your calculator. And you are going to get 0.03. We're asked one significant figure for U3, so it obviously is quite a decimalized version of an answer. U3 is when n is equal to 2. Good maths to write that down. n was equal to 1 here u3 is going to be u2 just take your time with these times the square root of u2 minus u2 to be squared so our 0.03 times the square root of 0.03 minus 0.03 to be squared just copy in what's above and this is going to give 0.005 correct one significant figure Check it on your calculator twice, always. And we'll finish off this video with question four. Dealing with the famous Fibonacci sequence. You guys know, one, one, add the previous two terms, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21. If you haven't seen this before, you haven't been paying attention, we're asked to write down the first eight terms. We can do that with this use, but if you know what you're doing here, you just write down the first eight terms which we have there one two three four five six seven eight and that's question four done